In this video, I created my first game in Python using Pygame. This is the result of it. So you might be asking, why did I decide to make a game in Pygame? Well, I'm currently taking my first Python course in university. And obviously, I thought, yeah, let's make a game because I have no idea what I'm doing. I do have some coding experience from before, but let's just say they're not quite legendary level yet. More like, I know, I know, how, I know how to Google stuff fast. All right, let's begin by setting up a screen with a box that you can move. Sounds easy, right? That's because it is. And just like that, boom, it's done. I mean, look at this box. Just casually painting the entire screen red. This is peak game development. Forget Elder Ring. This, this is the future of gaming right here. Then I spent some time following uh, this uh, Pygame tutorial called Discover Python Patterns for Beginners. And well, I made some squares move, so you know, that's pretty cool, I guess. But it got me thinking. So I was following this pie game tutorial where you make towers that shoot at you and you shoot back at the towers. Pretty basic stuff. But then I thought, wait, why not turn this into a base building defense game? You build towers, defend against enemies and you shoot at the enemies using your towers. Bam! Game idea born. So I started off making a line, I mean a square. And then I made it appear on my screen in my game. Then I copy pasted the square a few times. I made a painting program for some reason, where you can draw a smiley face. And now that we're done making Photoshop Limited Pro Max Deluxe Plus, we can start making the actual game. Next, I started to restructure the code because... Because... Oh, I have to be allergic to bad code. But once I had cleared that up, I made some more art stuff for the game. Next, I made the towers follow the cursor, which obviously I nailed on the first try. No, not like that. Huh? Ah, shit. Come on. Oh yeah, now it's working. And now we're on to the fun part. Yeah, boy. Making enemies, but um, how do I do that? Let's start off by making the enemy visuals first. Yeah, that will do. A red circle boy. Boom, Picasso. Then I made the enemies spawn into the world. They don't do much yet though. They just kind of stand there looking confused at each other. But then I fixed that and now they move towards the center. All right. Here's a super complicated genius level 900 IQ plan. Enemies are going to scan nearby cells for towers like some kind of evil Roombas. If they find a tower, guess what? They'll attack them. Big shocker, I know. But wait, before we get to that part, we got to do some essentials first. Like, um, adding health. Because right now, everything's basically made of paper. So, yeah. Step 1. Health for enemies. They can't just explode on contact. Step 2. Health for the towers. Towers can't be wimps either. And oh yeah. Step 3. Health for the base. Because if the base dies, it's game over. Okay. So now the towers and enemies have health bars. So they can die now. Or actually, that's just all they do. They just die, which is fine because that rhymes. So next I created this freaking cool looking arrow for the towers. So now that when you click, the tower shoots arrows facing the wrong way. But don't worry. I had a little chat with the arrows. They promised to turn around. Now. They're facing the right way. Next up, I made it so that the enemies can take damage. Then I made it possible to lose. So now we're almost done with the checklist. Just one more thing to tackle. The enemies need to be able to attack the towers instead of just casually destroying past them. But before that, right now, the towers can shoot with no delay, like a machine gun on caffeine. You definitely don't want that. So I added a delay for the towers, making it more likely for you to lose. Now we're starting to have a working game. Enemies are attacking adjacent towers and making their way towards the base. We're basically done. Like, what more do we need in this game? I mean, at least my checklist is all checked out. So that's pretty good, you know? But then it hit me. What if you had more types of enemies? I know, groundbreaking, right? So I went ahead and created not just one, not two, but three. No, actually, just two more enemy types. Introducing to you, red boy, orange boy, and blue boy. Red boy is just your average everyday enemy, you know? Nothing too fancy. Orange boy is speedy but has low health, so he's like the flash, but he dies faster than he runs. And then there's the blue boy, the thick and slow one, but he deals a lot of damage. Then I made the map bigger because I wasn't that good at the game. Then I read the risk of rain spawning system and was like, huh, I want that. So I made a shitty version. So now more enemies are spawned the further into the game you are. Next, I added the ability to build towers, or well, sort of. But then I actually went ahead and made it happen. Then I added some score and gold. Right now, they are pretty much useless, just like me. But don't worry, that's about to change. Uh, the score and gold, of course, I mean. Then I made the gold to actually be useful. So now by using the gold, you can buy more towers. So that makes one out of three useless things actually working. I asked one of my imaginary friends for some help. And he said it would help if you could see the health a bit better. So now there's health text on the health bars. Now you can see even more clearly when you're about to lose. Then we had this cool play button in A sprite and decided to add it into the game. Now that when you're in the shop, you can press play. And when you pause, guess what? 
You can press play. That's crazy, I know. You know, I don't know, you know? I don't know. Now, the XP has been looking kinda useless for a while. I think it's about time we change that. Introducing levels. They're awesome because you get to use your money when you level up, allowing you to buy more towers. How do you level up? Heal enemies. I thought that was self-explanatory, but that makes two out of three useless things useful in this video. I think that's pretty good. Now that we have implemented leveling up, I think it's time for the gameplay experience to level up as well. I added a build menu that shows the stats of the towers. Epic, right? No? I also included a pop-up text when you level up, just in case if you forgot that you leveled up. But we're not done yet leveling up this gameplay experience. Let's take it even further by giving this game some vibe. So my boy June hooked me up with an epic banger and some sick shooting bow sound effect. After that I got sick and tired of this blinding white background so I decided to make some grass textures for it. Oh yeah! After that I made the towers regenerate slowly and increase their stats based on your level. Then I had my friend try out the game. He almost filled the entire map with towers which I thought was pretty impressive because I couldn't even get halfway there. Halfway there. So I decided to make it the victory condition. Yep. The only way to win the game is now to fill the entire map with 225 towers. How, you may ask? I don't know, beats me. I can't even get to 100 towers. Alright, now I'm gonna hit the gym, because I've been skipping and everyone else has been hitting gym. But before I go, I will be uploading another video soon, hopefully. If you got any suggestions for game ideas or video editing, just leave a comment or, you know, subscribe and like if you like. If not, then don't. Alright, see ya. Bye bye.